Carson's the kind of kid who, very spontaneous little boy, loves to have fun, loves to go out and, and play with his little friends. Um, he's just a very, a very outgoing little, little boy. Carson had an incident when he was three months old. He was nearly drowned by the babysitter. My son uh, almost died. They gave him about a 10% chance to live. He was hanging limp. He wasn't responsive, he was cold. They didn't know how long he had. So they said, we're, we're gonna bring you back and we're gonna let you see him, just tell him how much you love him. So we went back and uh, when we got out there, his arms were sprawled apart. He had IVs in his arms, IV in his neck, um, and uh, just tubes down his throat. And uh, we were just heartbroken. Uh, so we tried, uh, we told him how much we loved him. When he, they finally knew he was gonna make it, they said the doctors were shocked that he was still there. They said the doctor didn't expect him to be there after the first night. So in, in a trauma situation, the first thing they do is they call the respiratory therapist. You're the one who secures the airway. You make sure that uh, you can put them on a ventilator. You keep them alive if they need to stay on the ventilator, like near drowning patients like my son. They get them to where their lungs are healthy enough. They get the fluid out of their lungs. They just basically maintain the lungs and keep the heart working adequately. My son, um, after he did survive, after they realized that there was no brain damage and that he did make it, I started trying to find out more about the people that I saw all the time. Uh, and the people I saw all the time were the respiratory therapists. I didn't know anything about the profession. I never thought in a million years that that's what I was gonna choose to do. When I was actually at the hospital, almost all the respiratory therapists I talked to told me, I asked them what school they went to and almost every one of them told me Valencia and they said they have a great program, hospitals love them, they train you well, and it's true. It's absolutely true. They, they teach you everything you need to know, and you're very well prepared by the time you get in the hospital. I do think about Carson. I think about it every time I watch them suction him when he was in the hospital, when I mess with the mannequins, when we practice intubating, I'm always thinking, I'm thinking about my son, I'm thinking about all that he had to go through just to be where he is today and just to think how I can help somebody else's kid the same way. When Carson gets older, um, I'm gonna tell him about why I chose the career I chose. I'm gonna show him the pictures of when he was in the hospital and just let him know that even out of something bad, something good can come. <laughs>